Hi, my name is Turtel Only, that's spelled T-U-R-T-E-L-O-N-L-I, and I'm affectionately known in these circles as the father of the Black Age of Comics. It is a title that was given me at ECBOC. ECBOC is the East Coast Black Age of Comics Convention that's presented in Philadelphia, originally at Temple University. I am located uh, on the internet. You can go to my website. It is www.onlystudios.com. On it, you can find out about my background. You can access my online store and buy any of my books and other products. Speaking of which, I happen to have my books here. Here's one, which I'm very proud of. This is a character called Nog, the Protector of the Pyramids. Nog is an acronym standing for Nubian of Greatness. This is the book that I say opened the door to the Black Age movement. I first put out this character in 1981 as a book, and it was like the part of the old black and white movement that was in comics that begat, believe it or not, Teenage Ninja Mutant Turtles and all them when we were publishing black and white printed books. But to make a long story short, he is a champion of Planet Nuba, and we also have the sequel, Nog is Back. Okay, and you can buy these through my website. I contracted Ashley A. Woods, who's known for Millennia War, to do the color. And the cover of the first book I showed you was created by Christian St. Pierre. Then I have a trade novel, which this guy on the red, okay, if he bears any resemblance to somebody you recognize from the movies, I want you to know this book came out first. That is Malcolm 10 and he is generated from the DNA of 10 significant African Americans. This is trade book Team Blanga. It shows where Sister Girl, Malcolm 10, and Nog team up. Then, you know, I got a little horror, right? Sasa, the new face in horror. You need to protect your booty cakes because they are flesh eaters. Come in to get them, and she's going to make sure they don't get you. you. Didn't know you had booty cakes, did you? Okay. And then I do a fanzine called Future Funk. That's right, there is a future, and in that future there would be more funk, okay? And Future Funk is a fanzine and pricing guide for all that is the Black Age. It's all published by my studio and my operation, which again is called Only Studios. That's O-N-L-I, Studios, with an S. And you can Google it, or you could do any other search engine. You can put in my full name, which is Turtel Only. I refer to my stylizations as being rhythmistic, and when I say rhythmistic, I mean a convergence of the future and the primitive. There is a root in all of us, and I believe that all people, that their indigenous root is the same. When you manifest that through genetic um, channeling and genetic memory, you end up in a future tense of it. I am at Onyx Con. This is the third Onyx Con. I had the pleasure and honor of being at the first one. I found it so exciting I had to come back. Last year I couldn't make it because I was busy with my event. I do a Black Age of Comics convention in Chicago, which is the original event of this type. I network with Joseph Wheeler, New Art Order, proudly, happily, graciously, because I think he and his wife, his family, and his entire network here is essential to the growth of the Black Age movement. And I ask you, okay, why is your music collection lacquer than your comic book and graphic novel and sci-fi collection? How did that happen? Okay, and I also ask you, why are you so committed to the characters that were created for your grandparents? Superman was created in the 30s, Captain America the 30s, Spider-Man started in the early 60s. If that was music, you'd be listening to Pat Boone, okay, and Benny Goodman, I can't figure it out. So when are y'all going to catch on to the new, okay, on the cover, we got Stephen Harris's character from the Brotherhood of the Fringe, okay? If you look closely, you will see Heroes of the Black Age, all right? We have the Machendo montage. We got Black Comics by John Jennings and Damian Duffy. And you stuck on who? Super what? Captain or what? X. Do you know where X-Men comes from? It comes from the way the media portrayed Malcolm X and Martin Luther King and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad who said because you had a slave name, your name was taken, so they gave you the X. And then Martin Luther King represented, let's all get along, 
and Martin and um, Malcolm X represented let's separate by way of the guidance of who the Honorable Elijah Muhammad and he referred to themselves as the black Muslims so the idea of being black has a long genesis when the Nation of Islam showed us how through positive self-love that we could become a world-class people and reach our potential so if you want to see us come to any of these events particularly Onyx Khan if you're in the south if you're in the Midwest look me up in Chicago if you're on the East Coast take a visit to Philly for Ekbach and don't forget the Motor City because in the Motor City there is the Motor City Black Age of Comics Convention so when you need to get your Black Age on during the Black Age season the season of the Black Age starts in May with Ekbach and it ends in August with Onyx Con. you have no excuse you got the money you got the resources we're telling you how to do it your money would be well spent and I'm telling you you need to leave those other products alone and come this way, all right? Thank you.